Hey there, it's Tyler, and today we are back with more AI learns to drive. So we've got a brand new map to play on today, and we're also going to be creating a brand new AI completely from scratch. And with any luck, we should be able to leave Jimmy from my first AI learns to drive video completely in the dust. So in this new and revamped version of the game, I've added a brand new feature, turbo drifting. So after holding a drift for about half a second, you're granted a small burst of speed which lasts for about one second. To show when this happens, the car slightly changes colour. Also, if you like what I do here, remember to go and like and subscribe, and drop a comment about the randomest thing you can think of to help feed our YouTube overlords. So if you couldn't figure it out by now, this is actually me playing the game. Sadly my AI won't progress quite this fast, as I always do enjoy making my games disproportionately difficult. Anyway, with all that out of the way, it's about time we go ahead and slap some AI on it. So Billy is born and he has begun his journey to put his ancestor to shame. So Billy and all of my other AIs have used a strategy called Epsilon Greedy. While this sounds remotely fancy since it has a Greek letter in it, it's actually very simple. So this strategy gives Billy a variable called Epsilon which controls how often he chooses completely randomised actions and how often he chooses what action he thinks is best. So this value will start at 1, meaning Billy's actions are entirely randomised. However, as Billy plays more and more games, this value will decrease. Over time, as the value decreases, Billy will get to choose more and more actions, meaning he can try and perform the actions which he thinks are best. This strategy is very effective because it forces Billy to explore a good amount of the time, meaning he can learn new, better strategies. So while I was explaining all of that, I'm now showing clips of Billy who's had over 20 hours of training and it's pretty clear to see he has made some progress. He's now gotten pretty good at going down the wobbly path and has even managed to do the first corner. Despite all of this, he's not doing brilliant yet and he's definitely not going to be winning anything other than a participation trophy anytime soon. So at about 30 hours of training, Billy is still improving, however things have become very slow, both in terms of his driving and in his progress. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt for now since he is still improving, however if he doesn't do anything soon we may have to cut Billy loose. So after another day of training, it's become pretty clear that Billy isn't progressing as I'd quite like him to and I've had to make the executive decision to terminate Billy immediately. So here Billy has been entirely reborn all the way from scratch and he has one major change from before. So the main difference was that Billy version 1.0 actually used raw pixels as input to his brain. While this is good since it allows him to have all of the information he could possibly want about the racing game, it doesn't exactly mean it's easier to learn from. But since this project is already late, I decided I had to move on and revert back to how I did things in my first video, which used lasers. For those of you who didn't see the first video, the basic idea is that the car sends out some lasers and detects how far away things are and uses that to figure out where to go. So much to my surprise, Billy version 2 was not only able to beat his predecessor, but he was also able to completely obliterate its score in under an hour of training. So my last AI got a score of 38, which is absolutely nothing compared to this AI getting a score of over 70 as you can see. Uh, Billy, you might want to uh, pop a U-turn there, you know, uh, or just die. I mean, that's fine too. Oh, not again, Billy. I really hope this doesn't turn out to be a problem. So here we are a few hours later, and it's pretty clear Billy is doing nothing but going down the dead end. There's not really much he can do since from the lasers he uses to sense the environment, there's really no way of telling that it's a dead end until he's actually gone down there, so it's not really his fault. So it looks like we're starting again, with one small new addition this time to make sure that last problem doesn't happen again. So we're back to random actions again, but Billy version 3 is similar to Billy version 2 in that he's using lasers, so I'm sure it won't be long before we see some big improvements. So now that you've been staring at the map for a while, I'm guessing most of you are able to decipher that there is actually a word in the map. 
So the word was indeed meant to be gas, however I had some problems making the G, so it might have turned out a little sketchy. If you thought it said something else, let me know what you thought it said in the comments. Anyway, Billy is starting to make some real headway and starting to improve really rapidly, so I'll be back with you shortly. So before I go ahead and show you the final record set by Billy, here's the graph for his progress while training. So some of you might be quite confused by this graph, because despite the meteoric rise at the beginning, Billy did actually get worse while training. The reason for this is because even after many many frames of playing the game, Billy still has a slight chance to pick a completely random action, and this is all good for finding out new strategies, when you keep cutting corners tighter and tighter than you did before, a random action can quite easily get you killed. So here's another graph which shows Billy's progress slightly better. This is called a no epsilon graph, which means that all of the data from this graph was taken when Billy had no random actions. So this is exactly what Billy wanted to do. So this graph shows the trend of Billy's progress as he played. Even though he did stagnate pretty quickly, he did continue to make small improvements. Anyway, without further ado, here's the final record set by Billy. So that was Billy's final record of 76. Hope you enjoyed watching the video, thanks for watching and see ya!